Yeah, look. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Can't you see I got my hands up? Hands up, hands up. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Hi guys, it's your girl Gypsy, back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm actually recording this during the weekend. I know it's a girl being proactive. So um, I hope you guys are having a, well had, <laughs> a wonderful weekend as well. Also disclaimer, please ignore hammering sounds. Uh, apparently there's some like project my dad's doing and I need to record. So I'm really, really sorry. And I'll try to talk over it as loudly as possible without sounding like annoying basically <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful time but let's get to this video so as you can see like I said in my title I'm a fraud like I lied to y'all I said I would never ever ever uh, ever, 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 ever 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 read a book that would make me scared you know I don't do a thriller I don't do horror I don't do any of it I'm a big brave dog make that too pudding pop I'm a big brave dog. And I definitely played myself because I definitely read a book like that. So what happened was, it's one of my um, monthly picks. Um, I think it was last month. Let's go with July. Um, which was my book. Lipsticks. Yeah, lipsticks. Oh, excuse me. Um, I had a book on there. And it was grab my attention when by the cover because let me tell you something these covers they have been coming for our next like they've been looking good but i love the synopsis and i wanted to make it definitely known for my such as like a personal thing um i always like to learn about other cultures and to be you know educated not just in the region i'm living in and so it's a great story it's not just where you live it can be anywhere and so that's what i always want to make sure that i you know read books from different authors of different nationalities different backgrounds so the book i'm going to review today is mexican gothic by sylvia moreno garcia and as you can tell in the in the title it lists in the title, it literally... <laughs> Astonishing. Just hit myself. Um, it literally says gothic. And you're like, Jaira, how did you not get, like, it would probably be a little, like, not normal. And it's like, that's not the point. The point is, is that I wasn't thinking, basically. And so I don't have any explanation except I have nothing. <laughs> and I played myself. So, but let's get into the book. So the setting is in Mexico. It follows some certain characters. So like the main three, I'll say. Number one is Noemi Taboda. She is part of the Taboda family, very affluent, um, lives in like the heart of the town and everything, and we live in Mexico City. I believe they live in the capital. And you have her cousin Catalina, who married to the Doyle family. And it was basically for money because the Doyle family was pretty much almost dried up with funds, basically. So they just wanted to marry into uh, an affluent family. And she, Catalina, went through a lot of childhood trauma, like death and death and rejection and death. And it was, it's just a lot. And so um, they get, receive this letter, to devoted family, receive the letter from Catalina saying there's like a lot of bad stuff going on at the house where she is. There's spirits. She's having hallucinations. She feels like she's being controlled by like basically demons like she's like nah some she's there's there, i need y'all get me out of here and so noemi's father is like well you have to go and she's like okay yeah but like i'm also in university so noemi's kind of you know different because she's not following what you know her culture does basically like you know get married at like five and have like you know ten thousand children and she's like no i'm gonna have my own life i'm gonna learn i'm going to you know do research i want to become i want to be an inspirational woman for myself and you better go girl because i'll do the exact same thing and um her father's like that's cute but you're known to go save your cousin she's like all right whatever so she leaves to basically go on save kylie mission or whatever and she already gets the vibe that there's like some it's like a weird weird town because when she arrived like it was basically in like the morning time so you would think like there would be you know people around 
ghost town like absolutely nothing like you you wouldn't think there's like any sign of life unless you had to go like deep deep in and even still like there was nothing and so she's like what is going on so you know over the time she's staying there she feels like she's being controlled already from like the um I guess I guess you want to call it house leaders or whatever I don't know really the term but like um she befriends um one of the Doyle's um relatives Francis and her mother is the one that basically is like oh here are the rules you have to do this don't be smoking don't be doing that and everything she's like well can I at least can I pee like Jesus <laughs> like like everything's strict like they can't even talk at the dinner table and like you know me that'll be kind of weird and I was weird for her as well because she was so used to just being really interactive with her family talking like you know being normal and that's not how it is a Doyle household and so she would only see Kathleen at certain times which that's it's really pissed off she um they didn't really like when they did allow her to talk to the doctor the doctor you know treated her as if you know she's just an imbecile and she's like what is going on over here and over time she starts getting hallucinations she starts being just being controlled by spirits um she and for there is also some like sexual assault stuff going on in there um so if you're triggered by that i would kind of probably refrain from reading it is not i won't say it's not graphic it's nothing like to a what's to it say it's not evil in a way i mean still bad obviously but it's not like graphic to the point where like you probably want to vomit on the floor and like stuff like that so it just depends on how you feel and everything um but what i will say about the book is that it did take a minute for the story to develop and everything because you know it i was like reading and reading and you know like i love when the authors are like you know pushing and pulling and it's like yes girl take the wheel like drive but shut up and drive and everything and like I wasn't going nowhere like I felt like I was just stagnant and I'm like I'm from Florida like we drive or whatever we do oh my god told you someone's gonna die someone's gonna die told you someone's gonna die but like we we go and like I was not going at all and so that's one thing I did not like about the book is that it kind of it took about five chapters to you know develop everything and I'm the type of person I don't like not finishing a book I've only done that once and that was literally because I literally tried for like seven chapters and I'm like uh, uh like I don't even remember what the book is called like that's how much I just hated it and I didn't want to do that to it so like I'm kind of glad that I still kept going because once the story started to like pick up like it 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 gone like but I don't want to give any spoilers away because I'm not a person that gives secrets even in my personal life I don't give people secrets and that's why I'm not gonna give y'all secrets either so you just gotta have to get the book to figure out everything but I absolutely love the story the twist is there's there's like I'll say there's like three twists and there is really disgusting. Also, there's some incest in it. Well, not some, not some, all incest in there. So if that is triggering for you, cause you just don't like reading stuff about that or, or like hearing about it, you probably wouldn't read this cause it's heavy on the incest. Um, But love, love, love this book. I'll give it a four out of five only because of the thing that it didn't like pick up or anything nothing to do with like cultural stuff because i i'm not gonna get in the soapbox but i don't understand why you take us when you put a star down because you can't understand cultural things what about the research but anyways we'll get into that but i hope you guys enjoyed this review or basically like i just gave balls to that or anything but i hope you guys enjoyed it um you can get mexican gothic you know through bookshop and you can put in your zip code and support these local bookstores they have we have raised so 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 many much so much money and we're just gonna keep going and so please get this book it's a wonderful wonderful read if you like thriller stuff and if you like having your mind warped and feeling like you're not in space without drugs then yeah do this don't do trust kids um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you guys enjoyed this review and please leave a comment below if you enjoyed it like the video and if you haven't subscribed to gypsy what, what are you doing like come on but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and love you guys gypsy out